$100 giveaway. Like, subscribe, comment on this YouTube video, and you'll be entered into the $100 giveaway. Ignore anyone that's pretending to be me in the comments that's adding you and saying that you want a giveaway. You did not win that way. Your name will only be in the pinned comment if you win the giveaway. Let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Whoa, what the? Ice Jade Geimer Agarine. Yes. One water tuna plus one plus non tuner. 3000 attack. Quick effect. You can activate this effect. Face up monsters you control cannot be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effects this turn. So if they activate to destroy or banish you, you chain. And then your face up monsters, including this one, could not be destroyed or banished. Beautiful. Then, if you activated this effect in response to your opponent's card or effect activation, you didn't just do it willy nilly, you chained it to anything, and your opponent has a card with that name on their field or graveyard that they activated, you could banish those cards. Interesting. So let's. What does that mean? I guess if your opponent activates Sprite Elf, you could Chain Link 2 Banish Elf, and then you can't be destroyed or be banished. So it's Chain Link 2 Banish a card with that name on the field or graveyard. If they summon Mo Yi, they activate Mo Yi, you Chain Link 2, you banish Mo Yi off the fields. It doesn't negate, they still get a token, and then you're protected from being destruction or being banished. So what else? If a card is banished by your opponent's card effect, opponent's card effect, if they banish, while this is in the graveyard, you could special summon this. So if your opponent, if, a, if any card is banished by your opponent, including their own card being banished or banishing you while this is in the graveyard, what are the most popular cards that banish? Would be called by the grave if they were to not call by the grave your Ice Jade. They cross out designate. If a card is banished, does it have to be banished by card effect? It has to be banished by card effect, so the cost of banish with the Ashizu cards does not work. Banished by card effect, Snow does not work. DD Crow works, but DD Crow would just banish this, and then it gets screwed. So there you go. All right. Well, so a pretty cool boss monster. It is level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Water tuner. What are good water tuners? Tuner, well, Sword Soul is water tuner tokens. So these, or just use it in Sword Soul, right? This is Sword Soul support in a way. You get the Water Level 4 Tuner with the Mo Yi, Taya, Long Yun. Long Yun is make her right away. Is it worth it to make her over the other Sword Soul cards over a Baron to Floor? That would be interesting. On what matchups you'd want to do that with. Now, if you wanted to not tech her in a Sword Soul deck, then you would also probably be playing this card. Ice Jade Manifestation is coming with her. If you control a water monster and your opponent has a monster on their field or graveyard, take an Ice Jade from your deck, send it to the grave or special summon it. If a face-up Ice Jade you control leaves the field from your opponent and except during the damage step, so not, it, it, not by being destroyed, Wait, uh, okay, if it's destroyed during and except during the damage step, so uh, no destroyed by battle, not being destroyed, you could banish this card from your graveyard, target one card your opponent controls, banish it. So, you know, that's, you know, it's like a secondary effect, but the main one's gonna be if you control a water and your opponent has a monster on their field or graveyard. So at least just a monster in their graveyard, they use a hand trap, then you're good. Okay, interesting. And there you go. Kabam! Moray of Avarice. So we already have Moray of Greed. And what's the, how does that one work? The Moray of Greed is shuffle two waters from your hand into the deck, draw three. This one instead is banish a fish, sea serpent, or aqua you control to draw two. Okay. Good. What do you think? And then, are you ready? Bam. Stardust Worm. If this card is in your hand or graveyard and you control level eight or higher Dragon Sync, or you could special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the fields. 
This is for April, if this is for May 10th. You can tribute this card, special summon up to two level one light dragons from your hand and or graveyard, except Stardust Worm. They cannot activate their effects. You could only use each effect of the worm once per turn. Bam, Assault Synchron. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. During your main phase, you could special summon this card from your hand, then take 700 damage. If summoned this way, you cannot special summon monsters from the action deck while you control this monster except synchro monsters. And the number two effect is, if a face-up dragon synchro monster you control is tributed or banished, you could banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of those monsters, special summon it. And, kabam! Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Level eight synchro. If this card is synchro summoned, you could special summon one level two or lower tuner from your graveyard. So it's level eight, non-tuner, you summon a level two or lower tuner. I think you just make a Baron to floor with this, right? <laughs> just, we climb in with Baron to floor. Level two or lower tuner. So what are popular tuner level twos? Um, yeah, and you know, if you can make it with, with Diviner, Reborn Diviner, is Ad Emancipator gonna use this? Is this Ad Emancipator support? Is that what this is? Make Baron to Floor and Ad Emancipator? During the main phase, you could tribute this card, special summon a Stardust from your extra deck. Then immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one Synchro monster using monsters you control as material. Okay, quick effect synchro. This turn, the monsters synchro summoned by this effect are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. So the Stardust is unaffected and the synchro you summon, which could or could not use Stardust, will also be unaffected by card effects that turn. So during the main phase, do you want to put a start? Okay, immediately after this sync, it is you have to be able to synchro to even summon the start. You can't just summon Stardust, make it unaffected, then not synchro afterward. You have to at least be able to do that. And this turn, the monster synchro summoned by this effect are unaffected. You can only use each effect once per turn. Okay, interesting. So easy Baron to floor and uh, maybe the second effect you're not really going to be doing. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> and that's it. Those are the leaks.